the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory is a satellite that keeps an eye on the Sun's activity. It's a joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency and has been operational for more than 20 years. While watching the Sun's activity, the satellites produce some interesting discoveries about how the Sun works. According to ESA, its discoveries include finding complicated gas currents below the Sun's visible surface, as well as tracking frequent changes in magnetic fields. Researchers came close to losing the spacecraft in June 1998, less than three years after launch. The satellite was in the wrong position to receive communications from Earth, and was not responding to commands. The Solar and Heliospheric Observatory was designed to study the internal structure of the Sun, its extensive outer atmosphere and the origin of the solar wind. But over the years it's also picked up on some strange anomalies. YouTube UFO channel Mahonzen74 claims various types of UFOs are orbiting the Sun. UFO enthusiasts believe this image shows a genuine UFO hovering around the Sun, and some going as far as saying these crafts use the Sun to refuel. One issue that arises with these objects is their size. Some of the alleged crafts that are being witnessed are as big as the Moon, with some being even bigger than that. If these crafts are alien in nature, how do they withstand the temperature of the Sun? At the core of the Sun, gravitational attraction produces immense pressure and temperature, which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Hydrogen atoms get compressed and fused together, creating helium. This process is called nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion produces huge amounts of energy. The energy radiates outwards to the Sun's surface, atmosphere and beyond. From the core, energy moves to the radiative zone where it bounces around for up to 1 million years before moving to the connective zone, the upper layer of the Sun's interior. The temperature here drops below 3.5 million degrees Fahrenheit. Large bubbles of hot plasma form a soup of ionized atoms and move upwards to the photosphere. The temperature in the photosphere is about 10,000 degrees. It's here that the Sun's radiation is detected as visible light. Sunspots in the photosphere are cooler and darker than the surrounding area. At the centre of big sunspots, the temperature can be as low as 7,300 degrees. Most scientists believe the UFOs and other dots and shapes appearing around the Sun are just part of the huge release of electrons, ions and atoms during the flares and mass ejection that often follows. But what do you think these objects are? I'm interested to hear your theories, so don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.